All right, welcome to my tutorial on Zettle Deft. It's just a quick little how to jump inside and begin to use, learn how to use it. And I'm using Zettle Deft to take Bible notes with uh, using uh, uh, an org Bible. So I put every single uh, chapter of the Bible in a different org file, and then I uh, put them all together in my Deft folder so that way I can quickly refer to them. All right, so Zettle Deft, um, I would highly recommend looking at the GitHub page for this thing and to learn a little bit how to use it better, but sometimes it's helpful to look at it in action and in a particular situation like this, using it to take Bible notes with. Zettle Deft allows you to take notes very quickly by just with a few key presses. You can title a note and jump inside the note, and then uh, with another few key presses, you can link it to something else. And yes, in the beginning, it takes a while to learn the different key presses, and I'm gonna try to slow it down so you can watch. But when you can get this going and you're not recording at the same time, um, you can get pretty quick. It's gonna be a little bit slower. I've already done this a couple of times, and it's not very fast um, using what I'm recording with. I'm just using an old T420 uh, Lenovo, so it does take a bit there. All right. So let's jump into Zettle Deft. All right. Um, to do this, you hit space DD, and that uh, opens up every single one of your files. And as you'll see in just a second here, here are all my files. Now, this takes a long time if you have a thousand notes like I have. And I'll show you a different way to search notes instead of going to space DD. You will have to do space DD in the beginning to get into Zettle Deft because it'll initialize and just load up all the notes. And so that's um, worth uh, noting and remembering. Now, all right, here we are. Here's all of our notes. So uh, see all the names here and uh, every note that you edit, the most recent edit comes right there. So I've already gone through this a couple of times and made a few notes here. So there you go. All right, um, now I'll show you how to make some notes or at least how I do it. So let's say, let's jump into um, Proverbs chapter one here. And uh, let me just quickly, um, oops. Let me just quickly um, remove this. Oops. All right, so I'm in this uh, Proverbs chapter one. Now a quick other tip is, is that you wanna go back and forth through files. You can just hit um, open bracket or close bracket F and that'll go to the next file. So I wanna go to chapter two, I said open bracket F. Chapter two is right here. Now I think I deleted some of this so I gotta go back and put it in there. But to go backwards is uh, open bracket F very quickly and there you go chapter one. Now if I wanna go to the previous book, I just go back and because I've had these up lined up um, consecutively, they're numbered, well, my files are numbered, you can get there. Now to search quicker, like I was showing you, is space DO, and then this is how you can look at all of my files. So here's all my files that I'm using here, and um, you just kind of go M-A-T-T, um, you know, Matthew chapter 4, you want to open up that file. M A T O four. There's Matthew chapter four. But let's go back to Proverbs chapter one. And now I'm back at Proverbs chapter one. So let's say I'm talking here, and I want to make a, a line about um, this. Uh, whoops. I want to make a line here about the fear of the Lord. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise knowledge and instruction. Let's say, for instance, that uh, I want to make a uh, uh, a note about this. Well, I always like to open up a different window or frame to take my notes with so I don't have to go back and forth. To do that, you just go space W forward slash and that cuts it in half. So here's my new notes section. So what I'm going to do to create this note is space DF. Now I got to title my note. I'm going to C dash. I'm going to put fear of Yahweh. You go fear of Yahweh and hit enter now when I do that it's creating a new file name and putting it in my deft folder along with the title at the top of it and you'll see that title right here right there's the title now here we are so um, let's just put in you know um, proverb 1c 
seven um, is a major verse on this topic. Wait, let's do that. All right, Proverbs one seven, major verse in this topic. Okay, cool. There's my verse. Um, now these notes aren't connected. I can't go from one to the other. But to do that, all you got to do is um, store the link and insert it. You do this in org mode or space max. Is space a o l that stores where my cursor is. So it was in here. It's going to store this file name. And if it's space one, I get back to this one here. Now I'm going to put it right here and hit um, comma I L and that's going to create a link now which link do I want well here's the one that I stored I can enter now I can create a description what I like to do is you've seen some of these other ones maybe you saw the one under David there is I just like to use an asterisk that's just a quick way to say hey you've got a note right here you don't know the name of it but here's the note and I do that by hitting there's my uh, asterisk, I hit enter, and there's my note, right there. So um, if I'm on a different file here, um, I can just hit, uh, click that um, asterisk sign, and there it is, right there as I'm reading. Now I already did one on David, and here's the one on David, oh, that one's doing it over there. That's not what I want. I want it right there. Okay. So let me close this out really quick and hit this one. There, all right, King David. All right, and you notice this note has um, some tags on it. And to make tags with ZettleDef is just uh, hashtag your um, uh, note or your uh, tag there. I normally put it at the top of my list there. So let's say you want to search for some things based on their tags. Well, to do that in Space Max or on a Zettled F, you just do a, to do a quick search. It's Space D, capital T, and it's going to generate a list of all of your tags inside your different Zettled F notes. So I've got a few here, um, and I, one of them was OT uh, character for my note about David. Um, and let's find what that is. So the O's, OT character. It's right here. Now I could, the way to do this though is to just hit space DT and now it creates a couple of shortcuts to where I'm not having to um, scroll up and down. OT character, where the, so that's KD. So hit KD and that is going to search for this um, particular tag and it's going to give me King David right there. There's my note and I can hit enter now and boom, there's my note. So you can search based on tags. And that's really helpful whenever you have a lot of notes and you want to do a lot of searching. Um, so um, now, though, let's go back to fear of Yahweh. Now, notice here I have the text and um, it's not highlighted, so I can't link this back to that note. If I hit A and I hit, you know, or, or insert and delete this. Now, let's say I want to add... Um, this to this um, this file to have a link there so I want you to store this link location space a o l now it's stored um, now I go over here and uh, you know w1 goes to this window to this window w I mean a space one goes here space two goes here so space one and uh, space two space one or two now I'm going to insert this link so again comma i l and then there you go proverbs chapter one hit enter and instead of proverbs chapter one like it says there i'm just going to shorten it and get proverb one verse seven so i know where the link is now it's not going to do the seventh line you can do that um but i'm probably going to add headings to all my as i work through them um, and so going to a particular line uh, will not go right there so hit enter and there it is proverbs chapter one and that I know it's a link. So if I, I'm not on, you know, from over here, I can click this. And there you go, Proverbs chapter one. Now this may seem like very cumbersome and it can take a lot of time to do that. It's not. As soon as you get into a flow here, you can begin to create notes quickly and link them back very quickly. And you begin to have this nice mesh of notes all over the place. Another video I wanna do is show you org Rome 
which does actually automatically create backlinks. It knows where notes are connected, which is pretty cool. And I want to show you a little bit about that and how it makes inserting notes a lot quicker because you can make a default insert note just the asterisk sign, which is actually really cool. I like I like that, and I'll show you that in another video. But I just want to show you Zettledef very quickly about how I create notes and, and make notes. Um, so hopefully that was uh, helpful for you. If you like this kind of stuff to learn more about taking notes digitally or using Space Max to create Bible notes, uh, please let me know. I'm going to create more videos of this genre. And if you have a particular topic or an idea you want me to cover, um, be sure to take that into consideration. Uh, thanks so much. You've been watching Biblecraft, and I'll see you guys in the next video.